So when I talk about the fact that AI has been around for a while, think about when you used to call a call center and you'd have to, you know, wait on hold for a rep. And then the call centers got smarter and you had an IVR where you got to push the button for a phone tree to get somewhere that you hoped was the, the right place, right? Fast forward, speech analytics, speech these IVRs that then became text savvy that you could talk into that could get you hopefully more quickly where you want it to be. So now when you call in, people recognize your phone number. There's contextual. Were you on the web booking an airline ticket? Are you calling about this trip? Like it's getting smarter on how to engage with your consumer and your client and make a much easier experience. So I think about that evolution um, very much as like, how do you have AI help you deliver great experiences for your customers, your clients, your consumers, and you can run great efficiencies behind. But I think about what it took to program a speech analytics IVR 15 years ago, and it was just as long as the project you just talked about at, at Morgan, right? Now, some of these tools are proliferating so quickly, and there's so many different use cases. Um, and then I think we're leaning a lot further in past knowledge bases and those kinds of things. The last firm I worked at was an aesthetics firm, and we were piloting AI to be able to do sort of facial recognition on your phone to look at if I got Botox here or no of here, what's not a look right? <laughs> That's real generative AI and engaging in a very different way. And it can get scary quick, right? Think about that. We were also looking at, oh, what if our CEO, we use, they, we, you can listen to a 15 second video clip of him and then turn around and create a personalized message for every single one of your clients using his voice, personalized message. And this is where the world gets a little wonky, right? Around what does all this mean and what do you believe and what's the source of truth and what are the ethics and consequence around it. But I think it is proliferating everywhere. There are use cases internally, externally, and I think at every company, you've really got to develop the right kind of framework around how you think about AI, how you want to engage it around it, and how you want to govern it. Because it can get out of control in a dang hurt. <laughs> yeah. 